Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. We are back with another edition of Quick Hits. It's good to be back. Um, we get into the Zhang. We're going to pronounce this right. Zhang. Am I saying that right? Stops Joe Joyce in six rounds to take the WB interim title, which means he should be in line to fight the WBO champ, uh, which, of course, is Alexander Usyk. We'll get into all that, whether or not that really happens. But before we do, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, and all forms of social media. Uh, quick hits comes out every day, eight to ten minutes a day, to keep you up to date on the latest, greatest boxing news and rumors. Please also follow um, our YouTube channel, the other channel, uh, Texas Boxing Scene. All proceeds go to Autism Research and Recovery. Uh, please check out Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. All right, let's get into um, today's show. Um, Joe Joyce falls from um, the unbeaten. Uh, he gets stopped. He gets beat up by Zhang. Um, over six competitive rounds. A lot. The fight was a lot more fun than I expected. Um, Joyce was throwing a lot more right hands than I expected, and, and, and John could not miss um, with the straight left hand. Um, the straight left landed almost sixty percent of almost sixty percent of the time. If you landed at fifty, the old edge goes, "You're gonna win by stoppage," and he certainly did. Um, you know, I, I had tweeted out that you know Joyce is going in, in nine. I, I thought John was. Uh, Zhang was going to fade. Um, I, I thought if Joyce could sustain, but that I just wouldn't hold up. And it wasn't that Zhang wasn't fading. He wasn't wasting a lot of energy. You know, the, he's a huge, massive guy. Um, both guys are huge. You know, 6'6", 256, right? And then Zhang is 6'6", uh, 280, 275, right? 270, 80, Wade. He had two massive boys in there, and he didn't fade. He didn't waste a lot of energy. There wasn't he wasn't wrestling. He wasn't leaning on him right. He was conserving his energy and that left hand. Now, could he have gone twelve? Doesn't matter. It doesn't matter because he got him out in six. The 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 eye was bad, and I want to get into the stoppage uh, because the stoppage was weird, right? The referee took him over to the doctor. I, I don't blame him. The eye looked bad, so he takes him over to the doctor. The doctor administers the test. Two, one. Joyce gets everything right. Joyce hits everything on the head. Gets, and then the, the the doctor whispers something into the ear of the ref. Um, which we couldn't hear, we couldn't pick up. Ref takes one more look at him, stops the fight. So here's my question: If you're gonna administer, the, what's the point of administering the test, the, the, the finger test, right? How many fingers am I holding? What's what's the point of that? Right, it's like giving someone a sobriety test, and even if they pass it, you're gonna arrest them for DWI. Like, what's the point of the test then? Just arrest them now, right? Like, if you're gonna stop the fight, even if you pass the test, what's the point of giving the test? And and and, and Joy, you know, he wasn't slow, he wasn't unresponsive. He said two and one, right? He went two, and then he pulled his finger back, it was one. Um, why stop it then, right? Like, why, why not just stop the fight? Why even bring him to the doctor? I, and I don't know what the doctor told him, but what was the point of the doctor taking the test, right? I, I feel like the doctor obviously, and I don't know because he whispered in his ear, you couldn't hear, but the doctor, the ref looked at it one more time and stopped it. Now, I, I, it was going to be another round or two anyway, you know, that I was going to close, but give Joyce the chance, right? Like, let, let, let Joyce try to get the stop. Let, let, let Joyce press on the gas like a Toro Gaddy did, right? Gaddy with Wilson Rodriguez, right? Let, let him slam on the gas. Let's see if he can get him out. Let's see if we can get an explosion. Because you can see out of the eye, he passed the eye test, right? So let him fight. Um, I don't understand the purpose of that. And you go back and watch it. He gets it just right. And then the, the ref goes over to the doctor. The doctor whispers something in his ear, and they stop the fight. I didn't like that. I didn't like that. I, I, I want to know what that doctor uh, whispered. I, I'm sure we'll never know. Um, but... It is what it is. I, I think Zhang was going to get the win anyway, so ultimately it's it's all immaterial. 
But I, I don't like to see the fight end that way. Now, Zhang, what's next for Joe Joyce? I think Joe Joyce is fine. You know, you, you have all the haters out. Joe Joyce sucks. Joe Joyce is a bust. Joe Joyce is a hype jump. No, it's not. Joe Joyce has, has good wins. Um, Joe Joyce has wins over Joseph Parker, you know, Danny Dubois, uh, Brian Jennings, uh, Carlos Decom. You know, he's got Bermaine Stavern, right? Joe Hanks, my boy, first round knockout, right? Like, he, but realist, you know, the good ones he's got Jennings, Stavern, um, Dubois, Tacom, Parker. That's a lot of good wins to say the guy's a hype job. He's clearly not a hype job, right? Now, he's got flaws. He's slow and he doesn't move his head. And defensively, he's a liability, right? He can be hit. But he's 15 and 1 with 14 knockouts. So, and against pretty good competition. Now he's 37, and, and John is 39, so these guys, he may never get to a world title shot because he's just running out of time. Um, John may not get to a title shot, I, although I think he will. I just don't know who's going to be against. So I, I don't think Joyce is a hype job. I don't think he's a buzz. I think he'll be back. I think he'll be competitive. I think he'll be in the mix at the heavyweight division for the foreseeable future for the next couple of years at least until he's too old. I, I don't know if he'll ever get to a world title shot, though, unfortunately. Um, you know, the, the reality of the matter is that Usyk and Fury fight once a year. Usyk and Fury are both well into their 30s. They don't have a lot of time left. Um, so, you know, I, I, I think I, I, who knows what he's going to do. And then he'll retire. If he doesn't, he's gonna. I, I, it depends. I mean, I, I don't think it's a legacy fight. I don't think he'll take that fight. I think there's other fights. You know, he can't. You. It, it is hard to keep Spence allowed not to all of his belts. They do this on you. Let us try. And to see if John can, can pull this again because he finally is what he was supposed to be, right? And, and he's about to. I don't want to say hyped up. He was hyped up a lot. And he was supposed to be great. He's at it. And, and, and that was a good performance. Was exactly the performance you needed from him. Think with your thoughts. Glow, please like. I follow three boxing on all forms of social media. Quick hits come at you every day, eight to 10 minutes up to date on the. This boxing news and rumors. Um, it is April 15th, 2023, from Texas to the world. Thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.